Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this example video, we are going to take a look at how to hide and show a div with some text um, inside of it and also then change the show and hide buttons simultaneously. So let's go ahead and start to build up our message that we want to display and then we're going to have a button or a link that's going to allow us to hide and show it. So we're essentially toggling it. Okay, so let's create our div. I'm going to give this an ID of message, just a generic name for the text that's going to be inside of it. Inside, I am going to just paste in some uh, example text, some Latin text. Now, the div ID, I'm going to style inline, which I've always said I don't recommend. However, for the purpose of this tutorial and just to make things quick, I will uh, just create a style inside of here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just set a width. Um, I'm then going to set um, a border to this. And that's going to be one pixel solid. And I'm going to have it a sort of a gray color. And I'm also going to set some padding. So padding 10 pixels. OK, so let's preview that in our browser. You can see that we've got um, some text inside of a div with just a light gray border. OK, so let's go over to our text editor and create the link above this div that's going to hide and show it. So I'm just going to create a link here. The link is going to be just a hash because we're not actually linking to anything. But the ID of this is going to be show or hide show. And in here, the initial text that we're going to display will be hide. So now if we preview that, that's going to look like that. So the idea that we want to uh, come across is when we press hide, this will actually hide this whole area here, the bordered area. And then this hide text will change to show. And then when we click on show, this will be uh, shown once again. And then again, this will change to hide. So it's really just a case of this link changing and this being um, shown or hidden and then shown again. So let's go ahead and create our JavaScript file. And I'm going to call this um, message.js. And I'm going to include that in my page just under here. So script type is text forward slash JavaScript. And we'll include that by putting that in the source. So js forward slash message.js. OK, so now that we've done that, we want to go ahead and actually edit our message.js file to handle the event based around this link. So the first thing we want to do is actually toggle this hide and show button. And what I mean by toggle is we've looked at uh, in this series how to actually um, change something based on when we, for example, click on it. So what I'm going to do is uh, reference this button and that's called hide show. And then I'm going to say dot toggle. So we're using the dot toggle or the toggle event handler. Now inside here we need two functions. The first function is going to be what happens when this link is clicked uh, for the first time. And then the second function is going to be what happens when it is clicked again and we revert back to its original state. So we're toggling between two different states. So I'm going to create one function and its block. And then I'm going to separate this by a comma and create another function and its block. Now let's pull these blocks down so we can work with it a bit easier. So now in here, this is the first state. So we'll call that state one. And in here, this is state two. So when we click this button, state one will happen. Then we, when we click it again, state two will happen. When we click the link again, it will revert back to the original state and it will switch between the two. So what we actually want to do is we want to modify the text here, hide, to uh, show instead. So we can again reference hide show, but this time we use the text function to change the text within this link. So essentially what we're doing is we are changing this text here. So we can specify that when it's clicked, we want to show. Now in the second state, we want to do exactly the same thing. So we can just copy and paste this down here. However, we want it to display hide instead. OK, so let's go over to our browser and preview these changes. So at the moment, the button shows hide. When I click on it, it now shows show. 
when I click on it again it goes back to hide and this will just continue because we've used the toggle event handler okay so that's all well and good but now we actually need to uh, hide this div now there are two ways that we could do it we could include it inside this buttons functionality or we can do it outside I'm going to do it outside for the purposes of this tutorial and then I'm going to show you the inside as well okay so we need an event handler for our message so we're referencing our message div and we're going to say dot um, actually no we don't we need to show we need to say hide show so hide show dot click okay and then this will uh, in itself uh, this is in itself an event handler we need a function inside of here that will do something every time we click this hide show button now what we can actually do in this case is we can reference the message div and actually just use the toggle function now the toggle function will work exactly the same as this event handler but it will just hide and show this message div every time we click on the hide show link so when we click this link this will disappear then it will toggle back to it being reappeared so let's just check out how that works so at the moment we've got a hide button when we click on hide you can see that the div has been hidden when we click show it's toggled back to its original state and it's now visible and we can continue to do this over and over again now obviously uh, including this uh, part of code here is uh, entirely unnecessary what we could actually do is we could copy and paste this here and delete this here and we could actually place it inside of um, here so what's happening is when we uh, click this uh, hide show button the toggle event is triggered we hide the div uh, inside of this bit here so we could hide um, the message and then uh, exactly the same in here but we could show it so we've actually um, every time we've pressed the top uh, the hide show link we change the text to show and we hide the message div when we press it again we hide it uh, we, we give the dis text the display of hide but we actually show the div so now if we refresh you can see that this works in exactly the same way so there's a variety of different ways you can actually create uh, things like this however this basic functionality is extremely useful for any any anything you want to hide and show now this could apply to menu options for example you could have a, a tiered menu with subcategories so when you click on say the main category you'll show a list of subcategories you can then click on the main menu again to hide these it can be used for um, a control panel for example for a user if you have particular settings you wanted the user to change but you wanted to keep them all uh, hidden and shown you can actually allow the user to show certain parts of the settings that they can change so I'm sure you've seen uh, this example used on, this, uh, on a wide variety of websites however the functionality behind it is actually quite basic so just by using this code we've enabled this div to be shown and uh, well the visibility to be hidden and shown and also change the text of the button using the text function as well